One thing common between Israel and India is their hostile neighborhood. To counter any future eventuality, India, just like Israel, needs a solid interception and attack system like Israel's Iron Dome. IAF has been planning and working in that direction. India's present surface-to-air missile system largely comprises of six missile systems in one launcher pad, except for Akash missile system, which comprises of only three missile systems in one launcher. India's defense enthusiasts have always yearned for an increase in density of missile launch pads, meaning thereby to accommodate more missiles in one launcher from the present six. This fantasy is inspired from Israel's Iron Dome, in which a typical Iron Dome battery has three to four launchers with 20 missiles per launcher. The difference in the two systems stems from the threat perceptions of both countries. In Israel's case, low-quality rockets in large numbers can be fired over Israel's territory, whereas the strategic assets of India are situated at safe places from its borders. Hence, the threats of fighter jet formation or helicopter formation can be sufficiently handled by present surface-to-air missile systems involving six missiles per launcher. India's own Iron Dome DRDO's long-range air defense system will be in operational readiness by the year 2028-29. In anticipation of high density of attacks on its territory, India can deploy more number of surface-to-air missile launchers along the borders to counter any threat as the project projectile threat is comparatively lesser. On the other hand, Israel is always ready for a high barrage of attacks from its enemies, which has forced it to have a deadlier Iron Dome system. In recent times, though, the drone threat looms large over the border areas as the one recently in Jammu Air Base, after which the Indian Air Force has started taking the drone attacks as also swarm attacks quite seriously. The Indian Air Force has started to incorporate soft kill systems, laser-based systems and hard kill systems in its fleet. Both the Indian Army and the Indian Air Force have jointly started the process of adding vehicle-mounted counter swarm drone systems in its fleet. This is going to be India's densely packed surface-to-air missile systems yet. The Indian forces are planning to mount sensors and interceptors on top of the vehicle with the capability to carry 64 missiles in one launcher, which is almost four times the capacity of Israel's Iron Dome system. The single system will also include a 3D ASA radar, passive radio frequency detection system, and electro-optical targeting system. In practical application, this system will work in sync with other systems where there will be one or more than one jamming systems which will provide soft kill capabilities. There will be laser-based systems for autonomous drones. For your update, DRDO's laser-based systems have already been deployed. However, for bigger drones, our armed forces would require better hard kill solutions which will come through the missile systems. For this, 3D ASA radar system would be mounted on the vehicle which will track and detect remotely controlled drones quite comfortably. Strong drones integrated as a single network system self-contained for communication, use radio frequencies for communication, reconnaissance and weapon to strike an enemy or target. Passive radio frequency detection system is used to detect such swarm drones. Such a system to be made for Indian forces will also have a sensor. Besides, for optically detecting and tracking, electro-optical targeting systems are going to be used, which will also be mounted on top of the vehicle. The radar and electro-optical targeting system can detect an enemy object from a distance of 8 kilometers with 0.01 square kilometer radar cross-section. It should be capable of tracking any kind of drones and missiles available on it. should have a range of at least 2.5 kilometers. The Indian forces are looking at a time period of around 7 years for this system, excluding the testing time. 
This will be a big achievement for the Indian defense organizations as and when the system sees the light of the day. Jai Hind! Your support and love motivates us to bring you the latest around India's defense programs. We request your support at all times.